From the time of Alexander the Great's death in 323 BCE until the Roman invasion of Greece in 31 BCE, an era known as Hellenistic art flourished. During this time, Alexander the Great's kingdom substantially expanded the Greek world, allowing the classic Greek aesthetic to merge with the cultural and artistic influences of the many lands he conquered. As a result of the interaction of several aesthetic traditions, a new and distinct style of art emerged, one that was more grounded in reality, emotion, and the artist's own sense of expression. As a whole, Hellenistic art is illustrative of the period's intellectual and cultural vitality and the wide sphere of Greek cultural impact. The Roman Empire and the Renaissance both show its influence in their respective art styles. If you have enjoyed the video so far, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Let us know if you want more videos like this, by hitting the like button, now back to the video. What is Hellenistic art? A departure from the idealized forms of classical Greek art, Hellenistic art is characterized by a focus on realism, individuality, and emotion. It includes a wide variety of forms and mediums, from sculpture and painting to ceramics and buildings. Hellenistic Art Methods Hellenistic artists utilized a wide range of media, including but not limited to Sculptors Hellenistic sculptors employed a wide variety of approaches to the art form, producing everything from colossal public sculptures to relief sculptures and freestanding statues. Bronze, marble, and stone were just some of the various materials they tried out as they sought to create works of art that were both aesthetically pleasing and practically useful. Painting Encaustic painting, fresco painting, and tempera painting were just few of the mediums employed by Hellenistic artists. To achieve this effect of realism and uniqueness, they frequently used vivid colors and detailed textures. Mosaics Artists in Hellenistic times made intricate mosaics out of stone, glass, and terracotta. They frequently adorned public buildings, private dwellings, and even religious institutions with these mosaics. Pottery Both beautiful and practical, Hellenistic potters produced them in plenty. Intricate patterns and designs were constructed using a variety of methods such as molding, painting, and incising. Architecture Hellenistic architects used modern materials and methods to construct elaborate temples, theaters, and public baths. They also included decorative elements like columns, friezes, and statues in their plans to make buildings that served their purpose while still looking stunning. Hellenistic artistic practices are still studied and praised for their beauty and technical mastery today.